How are we doing, all my econ people? We are back for another Shopify review, and today we're going to talk about Shopify's eighth largest store, Steve Madden. So let's dive right in with what Steve Madden is doing that is an absolute masterclass in what they call their SM Pass. So this is a really, really intelligent way of branding, essentially creating an account with a subscription-based service offering. So if you haven't heard me talk about this before, I am all about these. This is essentially Amazon Prime, what Restoration Hardware has done with their loyalty program. And it's really simple. So if you just sign up, it's free. It's essentially the same concept as creating an account traditionally, but you get all of these additional benefits. So free two-day shipping over $50 on any order, 20% off using the discount when you sign up, and then 10% off every purchase after that. Then they take it a step further to really identify those power purchasers who are going to buy more. And for $50 a year, you get the same benefit, but then you get $30 off your first purchase and 20%, sorry, 30% off of your first purchase and 20% off of all subsequent purchases. And why this is really brilliant is that it's someone planning a flag saying, I am interested in buying more from Steve Madden. And while you might say, okay, but these customers would most likely purchase anyway, the important is the monogamy. They're making that commitment ahead of time that they're going to buy more from your brand. And that's where it's going to be, become super profitable. Steve Madden will probably lose money on the $50 a year versus free two-day shipping for all of their orders. But where they're going to make that up and where this is going to become super profitable for them in the long term, and the hypothesis is, is that the incremental orders from those additional discounts of getting someone to buy five times instead of three or 10 times instead of five within a year is really going to propel their business forward. So I love this. If you're thinking about this, definitely do a lot of research into these types of programs. Check out Steve Madden's. I think it's an absolute masterclass in the way to do this in a very low lift way of getting started. So something to steal for your brand in part two is, I think this is a really brilliant thing that they do in their collection pages, right? They have a big product catalog, a lot of different variants, is they have a great filter on the left-hand rail of their menu. One really unique thing though that I saw here is that they brought in that same filter by reviews that Amazon has. And so this is a really important, you wanna put as much power in your customer's hands to generate reviews as quickly as possible. And this little feature to quickly find the products that have super high reviews, it's gonna be an easy way for customers to filter based on the quality that they want. So the one area of improvement and the one recommendation that I'd have if I was working on their team is the cart experience. So if we go and add a product to cart, and you can see that they're promoting the SM Pass to jump in here as well with that free shipping, is the cart has a lot of dead space in it. And I understand they want to keep it clean. This top portion looks very nice, but there's all of this real estate for them to promote something else, right? There's a massive catalog especially what they're offering is very heavy on the OOTD and buying things in pairs. So it would, the real value to me would be monopolizing this real estate. And then there's just too many things going on in the bottom here. I get what they're trying to go for of the UX and it'd be interesting to see if they had any test results on this, but just presenting so many different options, I could easily accidentally click the wrong thing that I really think that this should be a simple checkout button and then on the next page, present payment options where they can fast track if they want. It just seems to be a lot going on down here and a lot of dead space here. So I think there's a lot of opportunity to maximize such valuable real estate. 